Well, if you've put on some extra pounds during the pandemic, you are not alone. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found people gained an average of nearly two pounds per month during the COVID shutdown last year. Joining us uh, now to talk more about this research and what can be done to address this trend is Dr. Ashley Mason from UCSF. Dr. Mason, great to have you on. Appreciate your time. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of us, we have been stuck at home more than usual. A lot of us doing uh, the, the comfort eating as we try to try to deal with the, the stress happening all around us. Is, is this about uh, what we're eating? Is this more about how often we're eating? What are the biggest factors you think driving this? It's probably a number of factors. One major factor we know that will influence what we eat is what's available to eat. If we have a lot of food in our house at a given moment that isn't food that we particularly want to be eating all the time, and yet we're stuck in our houses, we're more likely to eat more of it. There's a number of factors that could be causing a lot of that food to be in our house. We might be shopping less frequently to reduce trips to the store and therefore buying more things at once and having more cookies available. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be problematic. But overeating can happen in a number of forms and in response to a number of different factors. We probably are more stressed right now. We're cooped up at home. Our lifestyles are changed. Sure. Our social structures are changed. And so there's a lot of temptation to probably eat more, a lot more opportunity to eat more. And there's also less activities that we normally might be doing, going and doing other social activities in closed places right now is pretty much off limits. So that reduces what's off, what's available for us for us to do. Sure. I, I know that, that based on the research that you've done, you, you believe one of the most effective ways for people to, to try to address uh, weight gain in general, and especially during the pandemic, is to reduce the amount of sugary drinks that we are enjoying. I mean, you know, a, a lot of people, they crave crave a soda, especially when, you know, when, when uh, you know, times are tough as they have been here for the last year or so, just to sort of get them through. What, what has your research found about um, how, how much those sugary beverages are, are really driving this overall weight gain for us? So there's a lot of data out there about the impact of sugar on our health. And what we know about consuming sugar that we've learned from some recent research we've done at UCSF is that when you make these beverages less available, people drink less of them. So a major take home message here is if these beverages are not in your house, you're going to drink fewer of them. And we found this evidence in our workplace ban on sugar sweetened beverages at UCSF. We removed these beverages from vendors at UCSF and we asked people to report on how much they were drinking of them. And behold, people were drinking less of these sugary beverages um, many months after that ban was implemented. So if we translate this into what we can do for our own personal environments, not keeping these beverages in our house is a key first step. If they're not there yeah. when you crave them or when you're stressed out, you can't drink right. them. <laughs> Yeah, re resisting the urge to even buy buy those sodas when you are at the store. Can I ask you finally here just a big picture question here? You know, when you look at uh, the the weight gain for for all of us here during the pandemic, if, if this is is permanent, you know, folks are putting on more weight. What are the overall societal implications of this from a public health perspective? That's a very big question. Weight gain over time, slow weight gain is insidious. A lot of times we don't notice until we yeah. try and put on that old dress or that old pair of jeans. And so it's very easy to not notice it happening. And it's actually, actually quite difficult to lose weight over time without paying attention to it a bit, um, making some different choices. It is pretty important to evaluate what we're eating and how much we're moving each day. And the pandemic has really made that difficult. When we're home all day, we're able to graze and snack all day and we lose track of how much we've eaten. And then again, maybe our regular exercise classes are canceled. Maybe our gyms aren't open anymore. So we're not also moving as much as we usually would. Regaining our separation of when we're eating and when we're not is going to be very important in recovering from any metabolic damage done during the pandemic. And then also getting back on the bandwagon with how we can exercise safely and sustainably moving forward will be very important.
Yeah, trying to get more active, trying to make better choices when it comes to our, our diet. Um, all, all important tips. Really appreciate your time today, Dr. Ashley Mason from UCSF. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming on.